Hi friends, welcome back to the next part of Mercy Watson to the rescue. When we left off, remember that Mercy had decided to join Mr. and Mrs. Watson in bed. Do you remember why she went into their room? How is she feeling? That's right, she did not like being in bed alone in the dark. But we had some clues that there was a problem. They were so busy dreaming, they did not hear the floor moan. And you might be able to see this little picture clue right here. All right, let's see what happens. Chapter three. Boom! A hole opened under the Watson's bed. Crack! The Watson's bed fell into the hole. Mr. Watson woke up. Mrs. Watson woke up. Mercy woke up too. What the? said Mr. Watson. Oink! said Mercy. It's an earthquake, shouted Mrs. Watson. It's the end of the world. Nonsense, said Mr. Watson, but he didn't sound very sure. He sounded frightened. Mercy, however, was not frightened. Mercy was hungry. Oink, said Mercy again. She moved to the end of the bed. Boom, crack. The bed fell a little farther into the hole in the floor. Don't move, shouted Mr. Watson. Whatever you do, don't move. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Mercy held very still. Mrs. Watson started to cry. I know exactly what we must do, said Mr. Watson. We must call the fire department. They will rescue us. But you said we shall not move, said Mrs. Watson. How can we call the fire department if we cannot move? Mercy recalled her lovely toast-filled dream. She wondered if there was any toast in the kitchen. What do you think Mercy's about to do? While Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson were arguing, Mercy hopped off the bed. Boom! Crack! Look, said Mrs. Watson, Mercy has escaped! She is going to find help, said Mr. Watson. She is going to alert the fire department. Mercy left the bedroom at a gallop. She was in a hurry. Do you think Mercy's about to go tell the fire department? She was on her way to the kitchen. She was looking for some toast. Chapter four. In the kitchen, Mercy sniffed the table. She sniffed at the kitchen counters. She sniffed the floor, but there was no toast. There was not even a crumb of toast. Mercy's stomach growled in disappointment. Boom, crack, help us, Mrs. Watson called. Mercy thought very hard. Where could she get a snack? The answer came to her. Baby Lincoln always had sugar cookies. Baby Lincoln lived next door, and Baby Lincoln loved to share. Mercy took the kitchen doorknob in her mouth. She turned it. Help! Mrs. Watson called again. Sugar cookies, thought Mercy, and she stepped outside. So where is Mercy off to? Let's find out. Next chapter, chapter five. The Lincoln sisters live next door to the Watsons. Eugenia Lincoln is the older sister. She has many opinions. One of Eugenia's opinions is that pigs should not live in houses. Eugenia often says, listen closely to me, baby. Pigs are farm animals. They belong on farms. They do not belong in houses. Yes, sister, says baby. Baby Lincoln is the younger sister. She is the baby of the family. All right, so Eugenia and Baby Lincoln. Even though her name is Baby, she's not really a baby anymore. Baby agrees with everything Eugenia says. It is easier that way. But secretly, Baby has an opinion of her own. Baby's opinion is that Mercy is good company. At the Lincoln sister's house, Mercy looked into Baby's window. She could see Baby sleeping. Mercy pressed her snout up against the window pane. Oink, said Mercy, but Baby did not hear her. Snuffle, snuffle, said Mercy, but Baby did not wake up. Mercy tapped her hoof against the window. Baby sat up in bed. Who's there, she said. Baby saw Mercy's snout pressed up against the window. A monster, shouted Baby, a monster at my window. Mercy shook her head. Sister, shouted Baby, help, help, a monster. Eugenia woke up. She did not put in her teeth. She did not put on her glasses. Eugenia went straight to the phone and called the fire department. 
There is a crisis of an uncertain nature at 52 Decawoo Drive, said Eugenia Lincoln. Come immediately. And then Eugenia put on her robe and rushed to Baby's room. In her own opinion, Eugenia Lincoln was very good in a crisis. All right, we'll find out tomorrow if Mr. and Mrs. Watson, poor things, ever get rescued from their bed and if Mercy will ever get that sugar cookie. See you next time for part three.